Hi guys and welcome to 123MyT's video on the unboxing and first look of the ASUS G751J 17 inch gaming laptop. So let's take a look at the specification sticker on the front of the box. As I mentioned before this model is the G751JT-CH71 and we'll just run through the specifications here. So it's a 17.3 uh, inch LED uh, display it comes with uh, three gigabytes of uh, video RAM. So this is uh, on the uh, NVIDIA graphics card and the graphics chipset is the GTX 970. This Intel CPU is the i7-4710HQ. The hard drive is the one terabyte uh, 7200 SATA drive. So it also comes with the, uh, the, the RAM is the DDR3 uh, 8 gig times 2, so it's a 16 uh, gigabyte of RAM. And the recommended retail price for this machine is $1,499. Now, it is slightly cheaper um, than the other models. Uh, the other models do come with a better uh, hard drive, which is a SSD drive, but this one only has the slower SATA drive on it. So let's go ahead and break the seal and get to the unboxing. Push that in, and this should lift up. Uh, maybe the wrong way around, that's okay. So let's take out the laptop. And already you can see the big red grills on the back of the laptop. Quite impressive. It's feel quite chunky, this model, compared to previous models of the ASUS. And the design of the top of the laptop has changed a little bit. Now we have a red logo and red grills on the back rather than a white logo and, and black grills. In search of incredible. And what else do we have in here? So the box doesn't seem to go all the way back. It kind of just sits there like that. So it's gonna fall down when I try and get this out. So not really much in in the way of a warranty card, um, just some documentation there, nothing uh, too impressive. Uh, just some screws, a couple of spare screws if you're changing out the hard drive, which is what we will do, not in this video, but at some stage. And a cable tie there if you want to tie up, and a quick installation guide. On this side, we've got the power brick. Much bigger than the, the previous model. I get the feeling that uh, the power in this laptop is going to be a lot more, this laptop's gonna be a lot more powerful than the previous model. And just the US power cable which plugs into the brick, like so. Okay guys, so we've got it out of the box now. And let's just open it up and have a quick first look through the middle of it. Okay, so the first thing that you'll notice about uh, the difference between this model and previous models is this red, uh, red icons, red logo, red keyboard, um, lettering on the keyboard as well. And slight difference with the change of the, the uh, top or the palm rest of the laptop. Uh, on the previous models, they went for a aluminum finish this has actually gone back to a plastic finish, which I think is better because uh, you do find that the aluminum does stay quite cool on your hands um, and also can also have the, uh, and can also heat up as well. Um, across the top here, you'll see there's a, a few gaming uh, keys. Uh, one in particular is the is the uh, Steam button. We'll have a look at that, and also a silver power button is uh, one of the, one of the uh, changes here. Closer look to the top of the laptop. So as I mentioned before, the yeah, palm rest has now changed slightly back to a, a plastic, no longer aluminum. We've got the stickers here, the GeForce GTX uh, 790M, which I mentioned a bit earlier, and the uh, uh, Intel Core i7 sticker. Along the bottom here, we've got the power light, the charger light. So if we plug in the charger, we should see that one light up there the red light for charging, uh, hard disk light, uh, airplane mode, so you can turn off all your Wi-Fi and the numlock. 
Um, just two buttons on either side of a really big, nice, wide uh, mouse pad. Take a look at the uh, backlit display. So I'll just show you. Uh, this is in the without the photography uh, lights on. You can see that the keys or the backlit uh, keys actually light up in the red colour. Quite nice. It's good on your eyes, like in the dark as well. Like uh, red, red uh, light doesn't doesn't hurt your eyes. So um, you know it allows you to see the keys without interrupting your vision of of the actual uh, laptop screen itself. Take a look at the new buttons and see what they actually do once the machine's all booted up and started on. So if we hit the shadow play uh, key, it brings up the shadow play software. If we bring up if we start the Steam, it will actually download and install Steam. You can see there. And then let's see what happens when we press the macro keys. Nothing at this stage for the macro keys, so we'd have to obviously bind them. If we go over here and we press on the Republic of Gamers key, it actually brings up the Gaming Center. Okay, you can see your model at the top here, the G751JT. And you can see in here that we've got obviously time and everything like that. We've also got these gaming profiles which you can set up either when your laptop is on battery or power. You can set the how much gaming uh, power you want to use versus how much battery life etc. We can click on gaming profile settings and this allows us to go through and set up macro keys uh, and different gaming modes uh, across the top there. If we go into the game first allows us to set some optimization profiles for different parts of the laptop. Go back. Uh, we've got the macro key, which allows us to set up our, our keys across the top here. All right. And just some details on the storage on the, on the laptop currently. Uh, NVIDIA experience would start up our NVIDIA experience and the uh, ASUS Splendid technology which allows us to uh, change the display slightly to how we prefer to have it. If we take a look at the left hand side of the laptop here and you can see we've got the Kensington lock, two USB 3 ports, it's a Blu-ray uh, DVD player uh, and also the SD card slot uh, right over on the right there. You can also see that the laptop does look pretty cool with the hinges at the back there, it uh, seems to be designed very well. And it's a bit hard to see, but if I lift it up slightly, you can see how much breathing space the bottom of the laptop actually has. Uh, you know, and uh, when you put that on a desk or you know even on your lap, you should get a fair bit of uh, airflow through the um, bottom of the laptop. The laptop, there's not really all that much to see here. However, down the bottom here, you will see there is five LEDs, uh, front-facing LEDs uh, that uh, flash and turn on when uh, when in use. So if we lift up the laptop slightly here, and you can see the first one is the power uh, LED. Next one is the charging one, uh, hard disk, and this is the flight mode uh, LED at the front here, and also numlock as well. Look at the right hand side of the laptop here we've got the headphone surround out jack port, we've got the microphone in and we've got the uh, headset out port. We've also got two USB 3 ports and the next port here is a bit confusing for me. I've checked the ASUS website and it seems to say that it's a Thunderbolt port or a mini VGA so I can't see another port on here so I'm guessing it's both combined in one port. Then we have the HDMI port, we have the gigabit ethernet port, a VGA external monitor port and the uh, power power port for charging the laptop. If we lift it up slightly too, again we'll see there's that nice curved feature underneath which allows good airflow for the bottom of the laptop and the really nice profile again across the back of the laptop. Take a look at the back of the laptop we have the all important airflow vents for the GPU and CPU and the uh, Republic of Gamers logo in the middle there. I would have preferred that they kept these the black colour like they do, uh, like they have done in, in previous models of the gaming uh, laptop. If we lift the laptop up a little bit and you'll see either side we have these big massive chunky feet that keep the laptop off any surface that you, you, uh, you put it on. 
If we take a look at the bottom part of the laptop, the first thing that you'll notice about the laptop is the battery is actually built in. So you can't remove it and you can't replace it. Then all we have is a pretty standard uh, design underneath the laptop. We just have a few stickers there, Windows 8 and the uh, ASUS model sticker. Now the other thing you can do here guys, um, we can actually lift this lid here. I'll show you how to do that now. Um, if you pop that small plastic part out, there's a little screw there. You just undo that and you can literally take off the bottom part of the laptop and then you'll be able to upgrade your drives here. So if we have a look here, we've got two drives for upgrading the memory. Okay, so currently it's at 16 gigabyte, which I think is plenty um, at the moment for uh, uh, gaming. Uh, you could possibly upgrade it uh, to, to higher than that. And we've got two, two bays here. Now what I generally do with the two bays is um, I always go and buy a new SSD card, probably something like a 256 or a 512 SSD. And I take that main drive out, which is the one terabyte drive. I'll put the SSD in its place here, install Windows on that one on the SSD so it's nice and quick to start up and then I'll just use this secondary hard drive I'll move it over to here and I will use that just as a storage drive. Last thing that you'll notice is the built-in subwoofer with the max audio support. Okay guys so while we've got it turned over let's take a look at the dimensions here. So we're looking at about 41 centimeters across the laptop and if we turn that over about 16 inches and diagonally about 51 which is about 20 inches and from top to bottom it's about 31 as well so again about 13 inches and the weight of the laptop is 4.8 kg so probably not a laptop you want to carry around too much okay guys so I'm going to run some tools on the laptop to give us some more information about the hardware. And if you're looking for these tools, you can just go to open up a browser and go to the 123MyIT website. And if you go to where it says downloads and click on downloads and scroll down to where it says Windows benchmark tools, and then you can download all the tools that I'm about to use uh, in this video uh, from here. So the first one will start off with CPU-Z. For those of you out there guys that want to see the CPU-Z, uh, details I'll quickly tab across and you can have a quick look at the hardware information on the laptop so CPU tab caches tab mainboard tab memory SPD graphics okay guys and if you run the benchmarking tool tech power up it uh, shows us some graphics information on the graphics card itself so you can see down here the memory type is G DDR5 and the memory size is three gigabytes of memory on the graphics uh, card itself and it tells you the GPU clock, default clock, memory clocks. So there's some information there. If we go across the sensors, they give you some information on the core clock and memory and it gives you a little graph here on the side as well. Basically tells you what it's at as and temperature as well. Memory being used GPU low, obviously there's nothing running in the background so it's not struggling at all and some other information there. For those of you that want to see uh, some more information on temperatures and voltages of the uh, of the laptop, here is the uh, CPU ID uh, hardware monitor information. Okay guys, so here's the results from the PC mark and the 3D mark and on the uh, left hand side here we've got the PC Mark 8 uh, results so we've had a score of 4667 and you can see down here it actually gives us a graph of, of how our uh, PC compares so gaming laptops 2013 you can see uh, we are now better than 77 uh, of all results and there's our scores there if we take a look at the 3D Mark okay can see our, our fire strike 1.1 1 .1 was 6683 cloud gate uh, 20,637 and ice storm was uh, 124,682 if we scroll down a little bit it will show us how our laptop compares uh, 
uh, to other uh, machines out there. And you can see there, uh, so 4K gaming PC, we're quite a fair way off. So there's a lot of power in these 4K uh, gaming PCs, so we'll probably see more of that in the future. Um, but if you see gaming laptop 2013, and you see we're better than 50% of all results, which isn't too bad when you consider uh, it's probably at the top end of uh, gaming laptops, and uh, consider also it's, it's very portable compared to, say, a, a, you know, a gaming PC. The LCD has also been upgraded to a 17-inch matte finish IPS panel, which runs at 1080p and has a really good even backlit display and great viewing angles, which I'll try and show you that now, guys. And let's see how it goes with the video. Hi guys and welcome to 123MyT's video on the Microsoft Surface Pro 3 unboxing and first look. Okay guys, so if we flip the box over and have a look on the back and you can see here that we've got the Surface Pro 3 Intel Core i3 processor, 64 gigs, and it has the 4 gigabyte of RAM. Just under that as well, it says includes Microsoft Surface Pro 3 Windows, 8.1 Pro, one month trial, new Office 365 customers. Okay guys, so let's get to the unboxing. So we should be able to just lift the tab here on the side. Okay guys, so that's it from me. If this video was helpful, please leave a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and share the video around. And thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.